Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. I'm doing another Photoshop uh, tutorial today. This one's on changing color in your image. This one's going to be quick and easy. So let's say you have a client that wants you to change a color within your image. You send them this uh, photograph. I took this one uh, down in Florida on my last uh, working vacation. And um, basically, let's say the client that's using this for a flyer or something to that effect says, you know what, we really don't want a red fire hydrant. We like the fire hydrant, but we'd really like you to change this to orange. So no problem. There's several different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you one of the easier ways. So we'll come over here to the adjustment layers and we can click on hue and saturation. Alternatively, we can go down to the layer palette, click on new adjustment layer, and drag down to hue and saturation and select it there. After you've done that, if we make changes here, I'm going to click and drag, you'll notice that this is affecting my, my whole image. As we clicked and we made this fire hydrant purple, you'll notice the, green, the, the leaves turn purple, it changed the color of the trees, the cement, etc. I'll go ahead and press Command Z to undo that. In order to access these color pickers down here, we need to change from the master channel to any one of the other channels. It really doesn't matter which one you select, because when you select one, you can click on this eyedropper right here, and then click on the portion or the color that you want to change. So if I click here, you'll notice that it's selected red, red here, and then it has a fading from the main color selection on out. I can click on these handles and drag to further fine tune my selection. Next, if I go up here to the hue and I click and I drag, we'll notice that I can change this now to an orange, orange fire hydrant as my client has requested. I can also pull out a little bit of the saturation in this and make it a little bit darker. All that with this adjustment layer. A before and after by toggling the, the visibility of this layer shows the result. Extremely quick and easy. You can fine tune that color selection by clicking and dragging on these handles if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and close the properties. Alternatively, let's say these leaves over here were red and we, did, and we wanted to keep them red. We could paint them out in this mask here by selecting the mask, selecting the brush tool by clicking B on my keyboard, making sure we have black selected, and if we click and we paint, we're painting that away. Now that's not necessarily affecting anything because this stuff wasn't red to begin with. But if it was, we can click and we can paint out that portion of this effect so it's only affecting the fire hydrant. You'll notice over here in my mess, these are the areas. The black part is what I'm saying, don't affect. The white part is what's being affected by this hue saturation layer. I can show what's been painted by pressing command on my keyboard, clicking on the mask, and it's going to show me in this selection what has been selected, right? Or what's been masked out. I'll go ahead and press Command D on my keyboard to deselect that selection, and it looks like we're done. Guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget I have a Facebook page as well that you can like us over there. Stay up to date on what's new, request tutorials, etc., etc. Until next time, I'm out.